Hey y'all, what's up, my beautiful peeps? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gibbs's 92. Give you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me, the Queen's back. All right, so here's another motivation um, video for today. Um, we're going to keep this content going because I have a lot of ideas and, you know, we all deserve, you know, positivity in the world um, because it's a lot going on. And plus, I really, in my honest personal opinion, you know, we just got to kick butt, period, you know, when it comes to, you know, surrounding ourselves and, you know, making sure that we get equipped with our divine energy, right? So, as I was thinking about making this video, I said, hmm. Protecting our divine energy is so important, period. And for the last, I would say, couple of months, I had to protect my divine energy. My black behind had to protect my divine energy. And I'm going to tell you all why. Because I personally have been surrounded by narcissists. Now, I will talk about that in the future but they're everywhere and i'm like it's really sad um and especially in today's climate i mean even years ago even they were still existing but it's kind of like we're in a there's you know witches and gargoyles out here in real life all right now i kind of feel like Protecting your divine energy is protecting your light, your spirit, your aura, and just making sure that you have you, you have your best interest at heart. I don't care. I don't give a damn who gets pissed off at you. I don't care who gets mad because sometimes we don't want to be bothered. Not that necessarily like we don't want to be around people. And in some most cases, we don't want to be around people. So let me just be honest. It depends on the situation because there's this very low vibration that I have sensed that's been going on. I have experienced some personal things of low vibrations that I cut the cord and that's it. I've cut the cord and then I'm going to have to really stay really on the whole animal fort and stay consistent because I've just been over it for years. And I start to realize, I said, you know what, even something be telling me. It's okay. You're not alone. Um, it's okay. Other people have done it. Other people have to cut the cord, you know, because um, you really want to live a very healthy, no drama free life. And if you've been surrounded by people who constantly drain your energy, who constantly put you down, who constantly had these really wicked ways of you to paint a picture of you, I always think about the um motivational speaker les brown he said do not allow other people's opinions become their reality damn right he's right because he's been speaking to me too i said to myself well that's somebody that i wrote that i read the book but then around like i said years ago the child wrote the book but see the thing is i also didn't know i was surrounded by narcissism until probably when I got into my teens and my early adulthood until now, right? So I'm 30 years old now, right? A lot of things have manifested. I have really gotten more confident being by myself. Sometimes I do have my personal mental illness, which I feel like I'm going to continue to help myself. And I want to continue to figure out how to really, you know, manage that. Um, but protecting our divine energy is not just, you know, because I, I, I did research on other people, uh, others, how they had to just cut the cord. It's like doing the whole nine yards. It's like just the whole combo. That's what I want. Period. That's it. Because once you do that, that's it. And and there's something, it's, there's something called just being able to live your life and survive and make healthy connections 
And um, I had to really figure out, I said, now, since you're pretty much at a place where you're doing stuff and you are doing things that you like, and then the support that I've got from my friends that they have confided in me and they have been through stuff too. They've been through hell and I'm like horrified, you know, because I have been traumatized too. But let's stay positive. Let's stay on that level of, you know, just being more, you know, in our own boat. Let's really be honest. I'm listening to my intuition. I said, well, protect me. The divine energy is removing yourself from a situation or being a badass and be the shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or being a badass if you have to resort to self-defense. That means, yes, protect me. The divine energy. Because there are people, unfortunately, they just freaking miserable and they don't really, they not, I, I pray for them. I wish them well, but we can't be around each other. You got bad cloud over your head and I'm like in the sunlight. It just doesn't, come. it's just, it's like water and it's the other thing. It's just not going to mix. You see what I'm saying? It can't, it, it will never mix. I don't care how people will say, well, it's just. No. Lots of times I have felt like I've been in a crossfire where I had pretty much literally have been in a crossfire and I didn't really know what the hell was going on or whatever was going on. But for me, protecting your divine energy is protecting yourself, um, being equipped with how to survive. And don't be, and, and I'll say this, we do get afraid to ask for help because you know, you just never know. But never give up. Find resources. Get in contact ASAP as soon as possible. Ask for help. Ask for help. And you feel that energy. People, people that want to help you, you feel that energy. Yes, you you can feel it. See, you use your senses, your energy. So I even have experienced people that they've asked for my help. And I felt their, their like their positive energy. You know, I felt like that energy. I said, all right, cool. So, you know, that's really good to have. Um, also, protecting our divine energy is to set long-term goals for ourselves and just keep it, keep it a buck. Don't say nothing. Don't even talk about your goals. I mean, you can to some people, but not to every damn body because not everybody wants to see you going to fruition, period. And plus, even with the days of like now, it's just like this really kind of this very low vibration, lack of empathy era that we live in. And I'm like sitting up here, I'm like, you know what? Thank God I don't have that kind of mentality. I wouldn't be doing it. I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be doing this. I really wouldn't. I I, I really wouldn't be doing this at all. Because people who actually have something to offer in the world of positivity, of light. But yet, we have to also protect ourselves and navigate from these real life witches and gargoyles. And there will be another uh, video because I don't want to keep it up because I, I have been doing some, you know, healing and I've been doing some self-awareness, self-love. And plus, I'm pretty much like this. I'll say this. I will handle it, period. That's all I got to say. And I want that to be said to you guys likewise because I kind of feel like listening to my senses and like, uh, aura, my vibrations. I feel like we all deserve our divine energy to be protected, because if this is and this is pretty much the reason why I, I personally, my personal opinion, I feel like it's it's shifting, and and it's a you know what they call it, a Mercury retrograde. That's what I, I'm people are saying right now, and I'm and I'm seeing, I'm sensing some stuff. But I just want people to know that never give up, you know, find your own self, get yourself out there and make sure regardless, you got to stand up for yourself. You got to speak up for yourself. You got to have a conversation with somebody and you don't have to do it like be mean to them about it. 
And sometimes it depends on the individual. So I'll say this. Do what's best for you, okay? I'm not telling you what to do, how to dictate how you're feeling, your emotions. Because I have struggled with my emotions, okay, for a very long time. And I feel like even listening to my feelings and my senses, I have definitely, definitely been more aware about how I feel. So with that being said, guys, I love y'all with all. Um, and yeah, protect your divine energy, do coping skills, do techniques, do what's best for you to do that, period. So with that being said, guys, stay tuned. Next episode of Good Sense Night 2, share your thoughts and your opinions. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And as always, stay tuned on the next episode of Gibson's Night 2. Dragon Ball Z Mary Reference. Peace. Bye-bye. Your girls exit up. Out. The Super Saiyans out.